Welcome everybody, this is the Benjinator. And this is Mike. And we are pleased to bring you one of the most underrated games of the SNES era. This is ActRaiser! Woohoo! A relic from the time when LucasArts was still doing really interesting stuff. Right. Um, this is also back when Enix was an independent property and was very... throw things at the wall. Yeah, pretty much. So... The premise of this game is that uh, you are God, and um, you'll see this this little Cupid thing is going to explain to you in just a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna name ourselves Benjajio, just like with with Soul Blazer. So uh, recently did the Soul Blazer LP, and this game came out a little bit before this. Story wise, it's a little more straightforward, but I personally prefer this game. Um, First of all, the soundtrack is absolutely fan fantastic, and second of all, I think the gameplay is a little bit more straightforward. So basically, monsters roaming the earth, a demon they call Tanzra, which is basically Satan, has restricted our powers, and it is our duty to get back. Get back our powers, but also to restore, as, as the angel is telling you, to restore a peaceful land and have people have faith in you. So this is a cross between basically a, uh, it's sort of like a sim game and an action game, as you'll see. So, first thing just to establish is that there are six different lands, all taken over by monsters. We were just over Fillmore, this is Bloodpool, Atos, we have Cassandora, which I think is an awesome name. We have Marahana, which is your Hawaiian location. And then if we go up here, there is North Wall. Now, you can Canada. do this. Canada. Yep, Canada. You can, you can do this in any order you want, but I highly recommend you go to Fillmore first. So it, It's a bit more user-friendly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the biggest thing that... And again, I'm. it's been a long time since I've blown the dust off of this one. I ain't even mm -hmm. going to front here. Mm -hmm. But I think to me... Um, if you were to ask me to just put this together, I would say that if you take the SNES era version of SimCity mm -hmm. and kind of stapled on many of those mechanics into the actual... We're going to say cult management simulator because I don't have a better euphemism yeah. here. Mm -hmm. But where you become a divine being and you're just kind of playing God. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, actual action sequences are very... Well, honestly, they're a lot more blunt and straightforward. Right. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The gameplay is pretty um, standard for its time. But I think it's still a very solid action-adventure title by in that component, and it holds up well there. Oh, absolutely, I, yeah. I think this it's game has aged of, very well. Yes, and I think that it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of concepts in this that you didn't see before, but you saw somewhat after. Mm -hmm. Pieces of this game have made it into other things. For example, this is one of the first games that ran with the premise of you're a god. Mm -hmm. um, Probably one of the first ones I can remember on console game. And, well, even in PC strategy games, the you're a god thing, mm -hmm. I actually remember it being a later 90s thing than most of what happens here in Razor. What is the exact year on this, by the way? Uh, this is 1991, I believe. Right. Yeah, so it could be uh, it could be a little bit earlier, a little bit later, but it was very I mean, much... so we're saying this early is 90s. before anything as... Now, admittedly, this isn't quite the powerhouse that a lot of other things... Well, this was also the year that... that, that when it comes I, I, it, it was made around the same time that uh, Final Fantasy IV came out, and that was, that was a big deal. Yeah. Um... But yeah, as there far were a, there were a lot of other games coming out at this time, and I think that's part of the reason this thing's so underrated. Right, is because yeah. it has to compete with a lot of other huge <laughs> products that have a pretty yeah there interesting story. I do not remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the tree thing. Yeah, I think we actually hold on. We I think we missed a one up back here. But uh, actually, no. We what you can do is I believe I think the zip lines are yeah. Part there's of that. There, there's some zip lining that you can do, which is actually kind of cool. But yeah, so, uh, we didn't really explain this, but every area is going to be infested with monsters in the beginning, and you can't really start rebuilding. Oh, there's one up, yep. So you got lives, as you can see, and some energy. Um, so, but every area is going to be infested with monsters at first, and before you can, like, reestablish it and create, like, civilization and shit, you gotta, you gotta clear out the monsters, first of all. So, this being Fillmore is taken over by monsters. 
And later, of course, you might be uh, wrestling viewers with the question of, if you're an all-powerful god, why have you decided to send down this little man in the form of a statue to take care of monsters when you could just do some crazy shit? Like send down lightning or earthquakes and so forth. I have not quite figured that out. We're gonna leave that- we're gonna leave that to your imagination. <laughs> Make up any answer you want. Okay, so it's the first boss. And, uh, this guy's not too hard. It's a penisless horse that uses lightning. And I might just be dead. Uh, but Mike and I are gonna be trading off, so if I die, he's gonna take over. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so, yeah, just gotta- If you can stay out of the way of this thing, there's also a hard mode if you beat this game, if I recall, which I have never actually managed to do, believe it or not. Um, is that, like, you just basically play through all the, uh, ooh, I might actually do this. Come on, come on! Yes! Nice! Woo! Clinging to that last 2% of life. <laughs> yep. I kind of went into it, uh... <laughs> I kind of just went into it barging in, and I was like, oh, okay, I am actually have very little HP. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not quite at the point where I'm in god mode yet, so I should probably be somewhat strategic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. You're not getting any superpowers yet. Right, so... Uh, right up front, you start this off as actually a very, very average brawler. Yeah. But, um... But now here comes the part where things get interesting, and this is when at my eight-year-old self was like, Wait, what's going on now? <laughs> we have to... We have to build stuff? And, 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 and help construct lost civilizations? Okay, so, if you guys remember, if you see my uh, Soul Blazer LP, you'll know the the mechanic known as Monster Layers. They're everywhere. And so that there are Monster Layers that are in this particular sim, and you have to take them over, or get rid of them, I should say, by basically building in their way. So the people will be the ones to steal the Monster Layers. But you can do a bunch of other things. And I don't know why he's saying this is unexpected, since we just freed the people, but apparently they want to talk to us. All right. Oh, okay, so burn the bushes because they don't know how to use axes, apparently. <sighs> well, okay, so you're dealing with early era stuff. You gotta keep that in mind. Oh yeah. So, so basically, we got these enemies that are flying about, and so here's where things get interesting. You have all these options, and we'll be going through what these are supposed to do later, but. You have the power of miracles, and they take up what is known as SP. Right now, we only have 20 out of 20 because we're incredibly low leveled, but that gives us the power of lightning. And so lightnings, of course, can destroy houses, fields, rocks, palm trees, and bushes. So, you get to choose the lightning, and then you get to throw it somewhere. So let's put it right here, for example. So that t takes care of some trees. And uh, your little cherub can shoot arrows to get rid of these monsters, but they will keep coming at you. So the next thing we want to do is we want to destroy some more trees. And the SP will actually be restored with time and also when you kill enemies. So that will always come back. And so now what we do is now that there's a nice clearing, let us build in a direction. So you have to basically tell your your little uh, little dweeby, dweeby dudes to build in a direction. And so now we're going to see them start building houses. So that one guy is just really excited. He's being a baller, so he's building a cornfield. It looks like a looks like a strawberry field, or he's building or tulips or something like that. But crops, mm -hmm. getting some crops in there. And so each one of these monsters here will do something a little bit different. The bats are what are known as napper bats, and, you, and you'll probably see at some point they like to kidnap people and take them out of their homes. And there's also going to be blue dragons. Now, of course, the people are just like, help us! We need some guidance! Oh. There we go. Fighting monsters. Okay, so now they're saying, ah, oh, we can officially steal some monsters. So there we go. Then Yay, we're, we have an army. Yep, we, we and do. And a horse, it looks like. Yeah, they did some kind of uh, occultic ritual and got rid of them. It was very happy. Oh boy, so we got some. We got a special thing. Ah, strange statue. And I'll show you guys what the strange statue does. Uh, we're gonna wait until there's a bunch of enemies on screen, but the strange statue is basically a smart bomb. Okay, we got a little dragon right there. Um, so when the people have stuff to give you, you have to actually go and manually accept their offerings. 
You can't just, you don't just have them in your inventory. You actually have to be like, oh, okay, I will come down to your temple, your temple where you have poured your libation, and I will take it. Because that's what a good deity does. <sighs> so, basically right now, we're at civilization level one, and oh my god, these people! Hey! <laughs> Being a god is a busy business, Of course, you know? yeah. So, apparently there is a, uh, what's the term where, what's the term for somebody that has, like, visions? Oracle. A, a oracle, well, I, I guess, I guess maybe an oracle or maybe, like, uh, or, yeah, clairvoyant, oracle, something like that. Um, so, what we have is that we're at civilization level one, which means right now we've just basically got a, got a bunch of mud huts and so forth, but... Um, one of the things that can happen when you take over monster layers is that you then are able to have better buildings. And that's kind of important because, uh, once you have your town full of, oh my god, blue dragons. See, they, the blue dragons destroy, destroy houses. They're mean. Oh, um, by the way, guys, if you run out of health with your angel, it's not really that big of a deal. Because, uh, it just makes it so you can't use arrows for a little bit, and then your health gets restored and it's all happy again. Okay, so that would have been a good time to use a smart bomb. I think I'll do it right now. If it'll let me, if it'll let me, come on. I'm gonna hit the button. Hit the button! When the town's under construction, sometimes you can't hit the button. So, oh boy. Got more stuff. I want to be told something. <sighs> okay, so now we get to use the next miracle, which is rain. It's important. Yep, so now we got something on fire. And those people up there are most unhappy. So, yes. It, also, it doesn't tell us this, but it also can put out fires. But rain can be usually pretty useful for, uh, you know, getting rid of, uh, dried crops and stuff. There we go. Yay, the fire's been put out. <laughs> people are silly. <laughs> They're just basically like, ah, these people, they think mortals. they can just... Fucking mortals. <laughs> they think they can just get along and be atheists and not worry about what we have to do. <laughs> uh can't answer the angel's question. Okay, now we get to use the smart bomb, which is fun. So, that's all we got, and there we go. So if you're ever in a situation where there's a lot of enemies on screen, you can also do that. Alright. Anyway, so, I think this is a good, a good place to take our first break. Okay. Uh, we've begun ActRaiser, and Mike's gonna play in the next video. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is the Benjinator. This is Mike. See you guys next time.